What is going on guys, Titswalfa here, and welcome to the channel update for September of 2021. Now I'll start this off by giving some shout outs to members of the Syrup Squad for supporting the channel over the past month. Now I want to give a big thank you to all of our Syrup Squad Gold members, Aiden Welsh, Smoke Cocoa Beans, The Doctor, Alice Preston, Panda Nelson, The Funny Farm, and Joker Elusive. Thank you guys all very much for your extra support at the Syrup Squad Gold level. And a big thank you to all of our Syrup Squad Silver members, Crazy Jake Michael, Tina Rich, Alessandro Veterazzi, Dino the Firewolf, The Games Master, A Mobile Ocean Games, The Legend 2508, Stocky K003, Jaden Noel, Cheese Cammy, Sam the Best of All Five, Raven, Pursued Cupid 926, Bill Cagle, Not Again, Golden Bear 007, and Salvador Renteria. Thank you guys all very much for supporting the channel at the Syrup Squad Silver level. And a big thank you to all of our Syrup Squad Bronze members Double Striker X, Valiant Virgo 1804, Nobody, Itabito13, Mr. Parakeet, Keith Dombrowski, Jose Tabone, Golden Tyrex, Rocky, Harry Potter, Zach Chung, and Oso Gordo 3. Thank you guys all very much for supporting the channel at the Syrup Squad Bronze level. Hopefully I pronounced everyone's names correctly there. Now, some of you guys might be wondering, well, what is the Syrup Squad that you're talking about? Well, the Syrup Squad is a group of people who directly support the channel, and in return, they get exclusive perks. And if you join the Syrup Squad, you can get these perks too, including a thank you slash shout out in my monthly channel update videos, your name gets credited at the end of every video for an entire month. You get an exclusive badge next to your name in comments that gets better the longer that you're a member. You get access to custom emojis you could use in comments and live chat. You can join our Sort Squad only Discord server where you can chat with me and other members of the Sort Squad about pretty much anything. You get to ask a question and get it answered in the next channel update video. You get an exclusive discount off of merch. You get to watch members only videos. And of course, you'll be directly supporting the channel, helping me be able to continue to make videos for you guys on a daily basis. So if you're not a member of the Syrup Squad and you want to become a member, simply go to my channel and click the join button. Or if you don't see a join button, you can go to the video description. There's a link down there you can click. And from there, you can join the Syrup Squad for as low as 99 cents per month or your country's equivalent currency. So if you guys enjoy the channel and want to help keep things running, consider becoming a member of the Syrup Squad to directly support the channel. And that's going to be it for all the Syrup Squad shoutouts for this month. Now we can move on to the Syrup Squad Q&A and answer some questions directly from the Syrup Squad. So our first question this month comes from GoldenBear007, and they ask, Do you ever plan on playing a proper horror game on the channel? Well, it depends on what constitutes as a proper horror game to you, because, you know, I've, I've played some, but, you know, not very often. Like, a couple years ago, I did play that one game, Visage. I think it was in Early Access at the time. I, it was either Early Access or, like, it only had, like, Chapter 1 instead of, like, old old chapters and stuff like that. Back when games, like, came with chapters and stuff for some reason. But, uh, you know, I played that game. I think I played, like, just, like I said, like, the first chapter of it, and it was pretty spooky. I don't think I ever went back to play Chapter 2 or anything like that, though. Uh, I've played some others. I don't know if you count Bendy and the Ink Machine as horror, though. It was kind of spooky-ish. Uh, played that. I think I played every, like, episode or, like, chapter or whatever you want to describe it as. Except for the last one. I never went back for that, unfortunately. Never really got around to it. Uh, but I don't typically play or, or plan on playing very many horror games, you know. If there are any proper horror games you'd like to suggest me play, then hey, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Especially with October just around the corner. Maybe I'll check one out if I find time to play one. And our next question comes from the main Kratos bot himself on our Discord server, and they ask, Do you think that you will ever make a Minecraft server again? No, I don't I don't really think so. Uh, I had to shut one down like uh, like six or seven years ago, my old Minecraft server. It was like a survival economy server, uh, mainly just because I didn't have enough time to maintain it. I have even less free time now than I had back then, so I definitely can't uh, maintain a Minecraft server now. 
and I could even hardly keep up with my current upload schedule as you guys are seeing. Some of these videos uh, are coming out late and stuff like that, and as you guys are seeing with like the channel update, it's coming out like at the end of the month all the time, so, you know, I don't really have too much free time, especially with all those like bonus videos, bonus episodes, bonus series that I don't want to do on the weekend. I've hardly been able to do any of those, so I definitely don't have any time to, to maintain a Minecraft server again. And You know, if I ever do have another server again, I definitely wouldn't have anything to do with like managing or, or maintaining one, that's for sure. Uh, but I have no plans for one anyways right now, so hopefully that answers your question. And the next question comes from Preston Spam 47 version 6.9 on our Discord server, and they ask, Are you a sussy baka? Oh, how did you know? <laughs> and our next question comes from the Startup Squad bot on our Discord server, and they ask, since a lot of games are coming, what kind of games are your favorite and why for right now? So out of all the upcoming games, which am I looking forward to most? Uh, well, just right off the top of my head, the upcoming games I can think of right now are uh, Jurassic World Evolution 2 coming out in November, so about a month and a half from now. There's Slime Rancher 2 coming out next year. Arc 2, I, I don't know if there's like any confirmed release date or release window or anything like that for that. Uh, and then there's Destroy All Humans 2, which I'll talk about a little bit later. I don't think there's a release date for that one just yet. Uh, and now that I think about it, I think everything I just mentioned was like a two game now I think about it. So that's kind of interesting. But I guess out of all of those, I'm probably looking forward most to Jurassic World Evolution 2 right now. And, you know, it's, it's been a while since I've played a park management game like that. So it will definitely be interesting to play one again. I haven't really played one since either like Planet Zoo or one of the Jurassic World Evolution 1 DLCs. So it's definitely been a long time. And Jurassic World Evolution 2 is supposed to like, you know, build upon the original formula of the first game and introduce uh, like like flying creatures and like water creatures and stuff like that, like pteranodons and mosasaurs. It's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I do know uh, one of the DLCs, I think the last one, Jurassic uh, Return to Jurassic Park DLC for Jurassic World Evolution technically had pteranodons or pterosaurs or whatever. Uh, in like an aviary, but it was just kind of like a passing thing. It wasn't, it, it was just like something you had to make randomly. It didn't really focus on it too much, but I think there's going to be a much bigger focus on them in the sequel in Jurassic World Evolution 2. So I'm pretty excited to see how that turns out. And our next question comes from Cheese on our Discord server. And they ask, do you ever plan on doing a meme review? <laughs> meme review. <laughs> the sheesh meme is a 10 out of 10 from me, fam. Sheesh! Ah, oh, cut that out of the video. Cut this whole question out of the video. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, our next question comes from the Human El Momo on our Discord server, and they ask, "Will you ever play with members?" Yeah, I've answered this one before, uh, and I, did just, I just, I guess, I'll answer it again just as like a little bit of an update. Uh, but there is no update. <laughs> you know, I, I am open to the idea, like I have said in the past. Uh, you know, I've thought about making it a perk for like gold members just because of the gold like tier doesn't really have very many perks, if any, except for like the, the discount off of like merch and whatnot and like all the other perks from the, the lower tiers and whatnot. But, you know, I, I definitely want to do that. It, it definitely have to be some sort of a party game. I've mentioned like Uno or like Among Us or something like that. You know, something you could just jump into and play, you know, one or two rounds of without actually missing anything if you haven't played before, right? But. You know, I haven't implemented this idea as a perk yet because I, you know, I just can't promise that I'll be able to do a game night once a month to fulfill that perk for gold members. And, you know, just like I said earlier on in one of the other questions, I just don't have enough time to do all this extra stuff, unfortunately. Really wish I could, though, but, you know, I guess it's just going to have to remain an idea right now, unfortunately. And our next question comes from Sadbot version 4.546.b on our Discord server, and they ask, for Terraria Season 2 modded, do you have a main mod in mind like Overhaul or Calamity with other mods on the side, or are you planning on having a couple smaller mods like Quality of Life and other content mods to get started? Well, I haven't really done too much progress with the like like figuring out which mods I want to do for modded Season 2, uh, but I know like the main mod everyone's been uh, like requesting me to play with was the Calamity mod. And that was that was highly suggested, even whenever I went back to like episode 100 of Terraria, you know, back whenever I asked for mod suggestions for season two, that was on like almost everyone's comments it was Calamity mod. So I'll definitely have to uh, play that just to check it out. So I guess if anything, I will be having one of these uh, like main mods and it will most likely be Calamity uh, and then, you know, some other smaller mods along the side that'll tweak things here or there, add things here or there. 
So I suppose that's how I'm going to be doing it. I don't think I'll actually play it in hardcore. I think I threw around that idea of possibly having uh, season two with like mods and hardcore, but I think I'm just going to have it with mods for right now. I feel like having mods will spice it up uh, just enough. I don't need to have it as hardcore mode on top of that, right? Uh, I do know at the end of uh, season one, I did ask for mod suggestions, like I said, so I still need to go back through every comment and see which ones like at least interest me or or are suggested a lot, just like I said with Calamity. So I still need to do that before I uh, start season two. And I did say I wanted to start season two, at least a pilot episode for season two before the end of the year. So I definitely need to get on that pretty soon. So <laughs> stay tuned here on the channel because, hey, maybe here in a couple months, maybe a couple weeks. You guys will see a uh, season two pilot episode of modded Terraria here on the channel that might surprise you. So keep an eye out for that. And our last question this month comes from Blazers21 on our Discord server, and they ask, do you like FPS games? Yeah, I like first person shooter games, uh, mainly the ones that have like RPG elements, not really the ones that are like Call of Duty though, you know, like the competitive shooter ones. Uh, you know, I've, I've played a few FPS RPGs on my channel before, such as Fallout 4 and The Outer Worlds, uh, probably a few others I can't think of off the top of my head, but you know, I've, I've played a few of them. But like I said, I'm not really into the ones that are like Call of Duty that are like uh, military shooters or like military sims or anything like competitive shooters as well. I'm not really into that, you know, like Overwatch or Apex or Fortnite or anything like that. <laughs> not really into uh, competitive shooters like that, though. I'm mainly only into the RPG FPSs, and that's mainly just because I like RPGs. And that's going to be it for the Syrup Squad Q&A for this month. Now we can move on to the channel updates. Now for channel updates, there's nothing, and for schedule updates, there's nothing, everything's still the same. <laughs> We're still playing Art Genesis Part 2 on Tuesdays and Fridays at 4pm, still playing Subnautica Below Zero on Wednesday at 4pm and Saturdays at 2pm, and we're still playing Stardew Valley on Thursdays at 4pm and Sundays at 2pm. So nothing's changed there, something may change in the next month or so, so definitely stay tuned for the rest of the channel update when I talk about that, but as for the schedule update and channel updates and blah bitty bloop bitty blob, nothing has changed here just yet, everything's still the same as last month. And that's going to be it for all the channel updates for this month, if you want to call them channel updates because I'm like there's nothing there. Anyways, <laughs> now on to the series updates. And the first series update this month is that we're getting pretty close to beating Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, you know, I might beat it with the next month or so with how things are going. You know, we just finished like a major storyline. I guess you can call it in Subnautica Below Zero. I'm not going to give any spoilers here if you guys aren't watching that series. But uh, if you guys are watching it, you guys know we just finished a major storyline. We have, I think one or two more things like major things to do in Subnautica Below Zero so that's why I'm kind of thinking we might beat it within the next month I'm not 100% sure on that we may beat it a little bit sooner too who knows I guess we'll have to see but as you guys know whenever a series ends I usually grab those pilot episodes throw them into a poll ask you guys which of these pilot episodes you guys want to see me turn into a full-on series and that's what we're going to be replacing Subnautica Below Zero with so if we end up beating Subnautica Below Zero within the next month or so definitely keep an eye on my channel's community tab to see if I'm going to have a poll asking which pilot episode to turn into a full-on series. And if we end up beating Subnautica Below Zero, say in like November or something like that, I may put off that poll for like a week or two just so we could do a pilot episode of Jurassic World Evolution 2. And then I could put that in the poll and, you know, see what you guys think about that compared to other games that we've done pilot episodes of like Monster Harvest, Portal Reloaded, Valheim and Breath Edge. Uh, those are going to be five different series, and I believe I can only have five different suggestions for a poll. So I think that's going to be a perfect time for us to do that poll if I end up beating some Naughty Below Zero sometime in November. But we're just going to have to wait and see for that. So just letting you guys know a heads up here of what might come in the next month or so if we end up beating some Naughty Below Zero. And speaking of pilot episodes, yep, we did do a pilot episode this past month. We did a pilot episode of Monster Harvest. And this is that game, if you guys don't remember, it's that game that's kind of like Stardew Valley and, and Pokemon combined. I've been talking about it on my channel for the longest time. <laughs> I did a uh, pilot episode of the demo. I believe the demo lets you play the first 10 days of the game, which is actually kind of crazy. I thought it was a lot shorter than that, but hey. If you guys want to play uh, Monster Harvest for free as a free demo, you can play the first 10 days of it for free, which is pretty cool. But anyways, I played that like a week or so before it actually came out. And yes, it did actually finally come out 
at the end of August, which is good. So if we end up actually green lighting Monster Harvest, then hey, we could play the full game right then and there. But I'll talk about that a little bit here in just a sec. But, uh, you know, I, I really think it lives up to that description of it being like a, a Stardew Valley plus Pokemon sort of little, little, little hybrid, I guess you could describe it as. I really did feel the similarities to Stardew Valley in just the first hour of playing. Uh, hardly got to experience the Pokemon aspect of the game, though. Like right at the very end is when we got to do our first battle or two. Uh, but yeah, I really felt the Pokemon aspect of the game still, and I can really see where they're going with that sort of aspect. I really, I, I think that formula really works out. I don't know why, I don't know how, but it, it really does work out. The whole, you know, growing your Pokemon, I guess you could describe it as, <laughs> in a farm, or you could sell them off, get a little bit of money. I like that aspect. I really want to play it, and you guys seem to really like it as well. And, you know, I, I feel like if I did that poll on all the pilot episodes right now of, of which pilot episode I should turn into a full-on series. I feel if I did that poll right now, you guys would definitely be voting for Monster Harvest just because I feel like it got the best response out of all the other pilot episodes we have right now. But like I said, in the pilot episode of Monster Harvest, you know, I just don't want to play two very similar games at the same time because, you know, Monster Harvest is kind of like Stardew Valley. I don't really want to play, you know, basically two versions of Stardew Valley at the same time, you know, even though one is a completely different game. But y you guys know what I mean. I, I, I don't want to play too much of the same stuff or else I'll eventually get burnt out on it. If I'm playing two of the literally like the same type of game, then I'll probably get burnt out on the type of game a little bit faster, you know, and it'll be kind of hard to keep up with both of them as well. We might be like working on some sort of farm or something like that in Stardew Valley and I think I'm doing the same thing in Monster Harvest and it'll be kind of confusing to, to keep up between the two of them. Uh, so, you know, th those are kind of my reasons right now of why I don't really want to play Monster Harvest at the same time with Stardew Valley. But at the same time, I'm also thinking, you know, Stardew Valley is, is such a, it seems like it's going to be such a long game, such a long series. I even said, it, like, early on in the series, I think it's going to be like a, one of those hundred plus episode series on my channel. So I'm, I'm thinking about maybe making an exception here. So let me know in the comments down below. What do you guys think about me potentially playing Monster Harvest on the channel? Should I make an exception? Should I still add it to the poll where I ask you guys which pilot episode should become a full on series? Or should I stick to my guns and, and kind of just wait until we beat Stardew Valley before I actually let you guys vote on Monster Harvest? Because you know, it, it seems like it was a pretty popular game. Like I said, it, if I made that poll right now, I'm pretty sure Monster Harvest would win. But at the same time, I don't want to play two of the same games at the same time. So I, I really want to hear you guys feedback on this here. But all in all, you know, we'll see in about a month or so when Jurassic World Evolution 2 comes out in a month. Uh, if I actually include Monster Harvest in that poll or not, you know, depending on what you guys comment on this video. So please let me know what you guys think about Monster Harvest and whether or not I should still play even though I'm playing Stardew Valley. And that's going to be it for all the series updates. Now let's look forward to what's coming to the channel with the future series. Now, starting off the future series, as always, let's talk about some pilot episodes because there's a few new games that are coming out or have come out that I definitely want to talk about here, you guys, because as I mentioned earlier on in the channel update, Jurassic World Evolution 2 is coming out pretty soon in about a month and a half on November 9th. So definitely look forward to a pilot episode where we're going to check out the first hour or so of Jurassic World Evolution 2 and seeing whether or not you guys want me to turn it into a full on series. That's going to be pretty fun. If you guys don't know, Jurassic World Evolution is a park management type game. So think of like a Planet Coaster, Planet Zoo. Uh, if you guys remember Jurassic World Evolution, basically where you build a park, you build your own like Jurassic Park, Jurassic World. You get to manage a bunch of dinosaurs, you know, keep them in certain pens and areas and stuff like that. You get to, to take care of like all the all the guests, all the visitors, you know, build like, you know, restaurants and gift shops and stuff like that, you know, build an economy, make sure your Jurassic Park can sustain itself so you can afford you know, getting more expensive dinos that could bring in even more people and therefore bring in even more money so you can get even more expensive days. It's, it's kind of crazy, you guys. You guys definitely want to go check out Jurassic World Evolution here on the channel. We played it a few years ago, if you guys haven't already seen that. It did have a few DLCs and I played all of the DLCs just because I had so much fun with the base game. You guys are going to want to go check that out and get prepped for Jurassic World Evolution 2 here in about a month and a half. And next up, it might have been last year when we played Destroy All Humans here on the channel. You know, the remake of the PlayStation 2 game, Destroy All Humans. And now there's going to be Destroy All Humans 2 coming out here. It doesn't really have a release date right now as far as I know. So I, I assume it's some time in 2022, maybe in the summer or something like that. Because the original Destroy All Humans remake came out, I think in like July or something like that. So I wouldn't be too surprised if the sequel remake, remake sequel, I, I don't know how you describe it. <laughs> 
<laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if this one comes out during the summertime as well in 2022. So if you guys don't know, this game is basically where you're an ancient alien. You, you crash down on Earth and uh, you basically take over Earth. And in the first game, we, we took over the United States. And in the second game, I think you take over the entire heckin' planet. So I haven't, I never played the second game uh, as a kid. So I never played the original one. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing Destroy All Humans 2, the remake, uh, whenever it's supposed to come out. Cause it'll be my first time actually playing the game. So I'll keep you guys updated here on these channel updates. If there's any new information about Destroy All Humans 2, like a release date or a release window or something like that. But for right now, uh, there is no like solid release date or release window or anything like that so uh like i said i assume it comes out next year in 2022 and when it does come out you guys know i'll be doing a pilot episode of that game and seeing whether or not we should turn it into a full-on series so definitely stay tuned for that and next up i am fish you guys might not have heard about this game because uh, it kind of flew under the radar it definitely flew under my radar until the game actually came out but it definitely seems like one of those meme type games where you know i used to play a lot of these type like meme type games i guess you'd describe it as well, you don't really take it too seriously. This one, you're kind of like a, you're, you're literally a fish. You're like flopping all over the heckin' world. It kind of reminds me of the game I played like a long time ago, like really early on in my YouTube career uh, called like I Am Bread. I think it's actually by the same people who made I Am Bread. Where you're, I know this kind of sounds completely wacky <laughs> for me to describe this, but I Am Bread, you were literally a slice of bread and you flopped like all over like a kitchen or like a living room or whatever. And your, your goal was basically to like flip flop from like one side of the room to the other and eventually go, I think, into like a toaster and toast yourself or something like that. It's been forever. It was a wacky game. I don't even know how to describe it. That's like the best way I can describe it. And this I Am Fish game kind of reminds me of it. It looks like it builds upon that idea. It's super wacky. I'll have the trailer on the screen for you guys to check out. Definitely looks like something fun we could play. And hey, maybe I will end up playing it here pretty soon for a pilot episode. So let me know in the comments down below about any of these games that I just mentioned. Which of these games you guys want to see a pilot episode of and why? And like I mentioned earlier, I Am Fish is already out. So who knows? Maybe I'll surprise you guys with a pilot episode of I Am Fish one of these days. So definitely keep an eye out for that. But out of all three of these games that I mentioned, Jurassic World Evolution 2, Destroy All Humans 2, and I Am Fish, which one are you guys most looking forward to a pilot episode of? Let me know in those comments down below. And next up for future series, I'm thinking about playing some more VR games here on the channel, virtual reality games, if you guys don't know. Uh, I'm actually interested in it because YouTube recommended me a video of some guy playing on uh, VR on like one of those like full body VR like experiences with like a treadmill beneath him or what I don't even know how to describe it. Maybe I'll show a picture or a video or a little clip of it or something. But uh, seeing that on my YouTube feed and watching that video kind of got me back interested in VR again. Uh, if anything, I just want to check out, you know, some of the existing games that I've played already and just see what the VR experience is. So, uh, you know, checking out what Subnautica is like in VR, checking out what Slime Rancher is like in VR. I know Ark is uh, in VR as well and Minecraft is in VR as well. Uh, so, you know, maybe I'll just do some random videos of me just checking out those games in VR, seeing what it's like, just because I'm like, I, I missed out on those VR experiences in my VR headsets just collecting dust right now, right? So might as well put it to good use. Uh, I have only done like one VR series here on the channel. If you guys remember, I did play a game called Ark Park VR and uh, maybe I'll maybe I did something else. I don't know, but I can only remember me playing Ark Park VR here on the channel. And basically that was like one of those wave shooters, if you want to describe it as that, uh, where, you know, there's like waves of enemies at you. And in that game, it was waves of like hostile dinos and whatnot. And you basically had to shoot and kill them and whatnot. And if you survived all waves, then you take on a boss and then you move on to the next area. And What's really cool is because it was VR, you could look all around you and see like the environment and move around and stuff like that. So it was really cool. Uh, then there was a little bit of exploration as well. Like you had to go around and try and find like different uh, like, like resources and, and then you can cut down trees kind of. I'm like, it was very, very limited. And you can tell it was like really early on in like the VR days. And uh, this is kind of why I want to get back into VR because it's been so many years. And I'm sure that virtual reality stuff, all these games, all these experiences have improved a ton. So I definitely want to try them out, see what it's all about. I even talked on our Discord server about potentially doing a Minecraft VR series here on the channel just to experience what that's all about. Kind of like uh, whenever I did Minecraft Hardcore, but I think Minecraft VR only works on Bedrock. So uh, and I don't think Bedrock has Hardcore last I checked. So if I do do Minecraft VR, it'd probably just be a regular uh, playthrough. 
and uh, we can just experience some of the stuff. Maybe like there's any caves and mountains updates or whatever they called it. Maybe I could finally check out that in Minecraft VR. And hey, maybe I could check out some other games I haven't played yet, because I know Super Hot was one of the games that I've been requested a ton to play back whenever I initially did some VR, and I never really got around to playing that one. And I definitely want to see uh, what other games there are in VR that I might have missed in these past few years of never playing them, right? So, you know, it's, it's just an idea I've been thinking about lately. And let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about it. Do you guys think it's a really cool idea? Are you guys looking forward to me potentially checking out, you know, like Slime Rancher or Subnautica? Arc Minecraft in VR. Are you guys looking forward to a potential Minecraft VR playthrough where I play through Minecraft in virtual reality, you know, looking all around and like 3D and stuff like that for myself and basically being like sucked into the world of Minecraft and trying to survive that way. I'm sure that's going to be an interesting playthrough. And if you guys have any interesting suggestions for VR games I could check out, like I mentioned super hot earlier, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. And anything else you guys might be thinking about my potential return to VR games, be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And with that, that's going to be it for the channel update for September of 2021. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If you guys did, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so YouTube sends you a notification as soon as next month's channel update comes out so you guys can stay in the know with all the happenings here on the channel. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more awesome videos. Oh, bye there.